All right, so this video is going to be part one of our integral test practice. Okay, so we want to prove that the series, the sum from n equals one to infinity of one over n to the three halves is convergent or that it's divergent, okay? And we already know that, we can already tell by looking at this, that this is going to be convergent, right? This is a P series and P is greater than one, so it's convergent. But the whole idea of a P series comes from the integral test. Okay, so we're actually going to do this with the integral test. Now, before we even get started, we have to do the first test, right, which is the test for divergence. Okay, I don't have our acronym written up here, but the first test is the test for divergence. So we take the limit as n approaches infinity of 1 over n to the 3 halves. And, of course, as n approaches infinity, this will get bigger and bigger and bigger. So this thing will go to 0. Okay, so we know that the test for divergence is not going to prove that this is divergent, okay, because the limit is equal to zero. So now we have to actually try to set this up as a function, okay? We want to do the, we want to have our function be one over x to the three halves. And we want to use this as our function, okay? We want to do the integral from, let's try it from one to infinity, okay? That's what we want to do. Now, if we're able to, if, if we want to use this integral, we need to see if it is continuous, positive, and decreasing along this interval, okay? So is that function continuous, positive, and decreasing? Now, is it, first off, is it continuous? Well, there's no discontinuity because we're going from one to infinity, and the only discontinuity, <coughs> excuse me, would be where x is equal to zero. So it is continuous. Is it positive? Well, this is only going to be positive values that we're plugging into uh, our x here. So this will stay positive. And is it decreasing? Well, as x gets larger and larger, this whole denominator becomes larger and larger, which makes the whole fraction smaller and smaller as x gets bigger. So we know it is decreasing. So this is a function that we can use. So, what we do now is we just solve this integral. So we have to take the limit as t approaches infinity, the integral from one to t of one over x to the three halves dx. Now, if it helps you, you can rewrite this as x to the negative three halves. And that makes it maybe a little bit easier to do reverse power rule with this. We're just going to get the limit as t approaches infinity of, well, if you add one to this, you're going to get x to the negative one half. Okay. And you can pull that out front and flip it to get a negative two. And that's going to be evaluated from one to t. All right. So now we just do that evaluation step. We're going to have the limit as t approaches infinity of negative two times, it's going to be a one over rad t and then we'll have a minus, so it'll be a one to the negative one half, which is just going to be one. All right, now as t approaches infinity, this will, this whole fraction is just going to become zero. Okay, so we can get rid of that. So we just have a negative two times a negative one, which is just going to be two, okay? Now, this, of course, is not our sum, for this series, okay, but it does say it's 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 the solution to this integral, which tells us that this series is convergent, okay. So we can say by the integral test, this series converges, okay. So yes, we saw it as a p series, right? But now you can also see kind of the roots of it from the integral test itself, okay. And, and, and the whole idea of a P series comes from, well, if you don't have a three halves in here, instead you have a P, well, you know, you just have any, you can plug in any power. Well, okay, if P is greater than one, then it's going to converge by the integral test. And if it is less than or equal to one, it's going to diverge by the integral test. So next, we need to prove that the sum from n equals one to infinity of four over seven n minus two is convergent or that it is divergent. Okay, 
So the first thing that we should do, of course, is use that test for divergence, okay? That is the easiest test by far, which take the limit of this as n approaches infinity of 4 over 7n minus 2. And you can see that this bottom is going to approach infinity, okay? So you're just going to get that this is equal to 0. So the test for divergence is not going to work for this particular series, okay? Now... We need to see if we can use integral tests for this, okay? To do that, we would, we, well, let's try to take the integral from 1 to infinity of 4 over 7x minus 2 dx, okay? Now, if we want to use this integral, okay, we need to prove that this is continuous, positive, and decreasing, as we did in the last problem, okay? So, is it continuous? Well, where's that discontinuity going to be? That would be where x is equal to 2 over 7, which is not going to be anything that we cover here. So we know that it's definitely going to be continuous, okay? There's no discontinuities along this interval. Now, is it going to be positive? Well, you have a 7x minus 2 on the bottom here, so you do have a minus, but you're going from 1 to infinity, so you're always dealing with numbers that are going to make this denominator a positive number okay so it is going to be positive now is it going to be decreasing well as you approach infinity you get you get larger and larger X's you're going to get a larger and larger denominator which means that you get a smaller number overall that means that this is going to be decreasing all right so great that works now all we have to do is find that integral okay where we solve that integral we get the limit as t approaches infinity, the integral from 1 to t, of 4 over 7x minus 2 dx. Now, we can pull this 4 out. Okay, we can pull that 4 out, replace it with a 1, and then we can do a u substitution. Okay, So we can say that u, let's actually do this u substitution in blue. Let's say that u is equal to 7x minus 2. Okay? And that means that du will equal 7 dx. So that means that du over 7 will equal dx. Because we don't have a 7 dx anywhere here to deal with. Okay, so we divide that 7 over. We got this. We got this. That's what we're going to use to plug in. We also should find our new bounds. So if x equals 1, then u equals what? What will u equal? Well, u is going to be 7 times 1, which is 7, minus 2, that's 5. Now, if x equals t, then u is also going to equal t, because if you have 7 times an infinitely large number, okay, this whole thing, it doesn't matter that you're subtracting 2 or anything like that, it's still going to be an infinitely large number, it's still going to be t. Okay, so these are our new bounds, 5 and t. So, we substitute all that good stuff in, we're going to get the limit as t approaches infinity, it's going to be now 4 over 7, okay, because we got to incorporate that over 7 here, and it's going to be the integral from 5 to t now, that's our new bounds, of 1 over u du. So, we just keep going here, we do our integral, limit as t approaches infinity of 4 over 7 times the natural log absolute value of u from 5 to, to t. And we don't need these absolute value signs because we're only dealing with positive numbers here. So we can just eliminate those if you want. Okay. And let's get on with this evaluation step. Let's, I need a little more room here. Let's go up here. We get the limit as t approaches infinity. Oh, this will now be 4 over 7. So it'll be a natural log of t minus the natural log of 5. And if t is approaching infinity, you can see that this is actually going to diverge. Okay, because you're going to get that natural log of t, that's going to be an infinitely large number. It doesn't matter that you're multiplying by 4 sevenths or that you're subtracting natural log of 5. It's still going to approach infinity. So this is going to diverge. Okay, So we can say that by the integral test, this series diverges. Right? So that's basically it, okay? First off, we always start with that test for divergence, okay? And then 
we tried to, you know, use the integral. All we do is basically plug X in and try to take that integral from one to infinity. We found out that it was continuous, positive, and decreasing, meaning that we can use it, okay, because that's one of the conditions of the integral test, okay? And we just did that integral, okay? That's just doing our improper integrals that we learned earlier in techniques of integration, okay? We did out that integral. We found that it was approaching infinity, okay? So that means that since this integral diverges, we're going to have that this series diverges as well. Okay, so that's going to do it for this video. So if this video helped you, make sure to leave a like and subscribe by clicking my icon in the top left. You can also view the playlist for sequences and series, the explanation video for the integral test, and the next video in the series. Lastly, if these videos are really helping you and you would like to consider supporting me, I have my Patreon linked in the description down below along with some other pretty cool links that you should definitely check out. See you soon.